Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this has been your true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost, where I think the last life, we're just gonna say that there was a write-off, and instead, we're going to set up a whole new life today, because I've learnt a lot from my first experience, and I've also learnt a lot from the comments therein, a lot of people telling me some very helpful stuff, including stuff I just straight up flipping forgotten. So, let's start off today by setting up a new character, because... I've got an idea! So first up, unfortunately, Bacon is dead, Bacon's gone, we need a new hero. We need the hero we deserve, the daughter of Bacon. Welcome to the adventures of Gammon, another fine, excellent pig product. Blimey, is it pig delicious. I love Gammon. Aside from this weird, ongoing idea that it ought to be served with pineapple, that's just weird and wrong, but Gammon on its own, oh, Gammon steak is delicious. So, adventures of Gammon, and a whole different flipping build. So first things first, let's fund some other more important stats by just draining away, yeah, Charisma down to 1, I still get Lone Wanderer, now that lives down on Charisma 1, which is very bloody convenient indeed. Intelligence I can do without for the most part, in fact I might even pull that back another level potentially. The thing is, um, the difference between Intelligence 1 and Intelligence 10 isn't actually that much an XP gain. If I remember it correctly, and it hasn't been changed by the mod, it's only about like... 25-30% difference in XP between Intelligence 1 and Intelligence 10, so the difference isn't massive, it's significant. But in a survival scenario like this, it's not worth boosting Intelligence just to get more XP on the go, I think we're fine with low. To be honest, I don't even think I need Intelligence 3 for gun nuts, I didn't even find a single gun in my last playthrough, so the idea of crafting is possibly a little bit beyond my means. Things I do want, however, perception, I want that up to 5. We'll get into why in a moment, but I'm sure if you know this game well, you might be able to figure it out. Endurance I'd love a little bit more of as well, but let's leave that for the time being. Agility. I'm not going up to 9 on this occasion, that's too much, but... Agility at 7, just some more action points for VATs, for sprinting, and also to have access to Ninja. Ninja's clearly been massively depowered, but every tiny extra bit of damage is going to help in a scenario like this. So screw it, I'll have Agility at 7, and then one extra point. Could have a tiny bit of extra strength just for... Yeah, a bit of extra strength for the early game meleeing. I think I'm happy with that. It's quite similar to my first character, but just a little bit on the better side, I would say. More well-suited. And naturally, of course, we're going straight back into the access tunnels. Let's be on our way. Now, other things I've learnt. Yeah, I kind of assumed bobby pins had changed. Uh, no, they haven't. It's that this thing is a unique key just named bobby pin. So most bobby pins work normally. It's just that for whatever reason, that particular bobby pin is actually a key called bobby pin, which is odd. All normal bobby pins work normally. In fact, you can even see there, the bobby pin is literally a key, not actually a bobby pin. So right now I don't actually have any bobby pins at all. I've just got a rather confusing key. Number two, this bit's pretty important as well. This here is a bed. I missed that this was a bed, because when I was looking here, I only saw like the beer bottles and the medex and whatever. I totally missed that this is like, you know, a bed, because when you hover over this bit of the bed, it doesn't work as a bed, presumably because this guy's hitbox is extending out a bit too much. But yes, this, if you just kind of go over here, it's a bed. It's a perfectly normal, quite bloody useful bed. So remember to come back here and use this bed, because I can actually use that to potentially drop a save. Albeit a save at the risk of picking up illness, because, yes, yeah, sleeping at all introduces an illness risk. So, gotta be careful about that. Now, quickly head through here and just clear out this room. Ooh, good old human jaw and glass pitcher and all the rest of it. Just grab literally everything and shove it into this here chemistry station. Okay, so on this occasion I've been a bit lucky, I think, with some of the initial spawns, because yeah, this seems to be semi-randomised, because I definitely didn't have buff tats last time. So I've got some buff tats for perception, strength, endurance, and max hit points up. So yeah, basically a dose of buff out with a bit of extra perception tossed in, and sanity plus one. Very useful. Because as I've been told, the system is, if you murder someone, then you lose a bit of sanity. I'm not too sure what happens if sanity gets too low, I'm not sure I want to find out. So maybe, just keep taking the booze and whatever, because yeah, sanity plus one there, buff tat, sanity plus one, but risk of addiction to be offset against that. Right. Also, thing I forgot about, obviously, if I collect a whole bunch of bottles, find any dirty water source, three dirty waters, plus cooking station, equals purified water. That'd be bloody useful, definitely worth thinking about about because oh I do not have much in the way of anything right now do I know 
65 weight, just flipping marvellous, and I guess we're just flipping using this lead pipe. Right, on our way here, and yes, I know we're in survival mode, bloody hell game, you don't need to tell me. Right, things we learnt last time. One, there's a couple of survivors down here. I wouldn't mind just clearing them out just to basically get a bit of XP and some starting equipment, because I kind of need some better stuff than just a lead pipe, and there's a possibility they might spawn with it. Right, in we go, 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 in we go. Where are you? Do you want to just actually, you know what? It looks like I might be able to finish you off in a single VATS round before you even really know what's going on. So I know I'm losing sanity like this, but that's fine. Just finish you off. Lovely. And you apparently haven't really noticed or cared about any of that. So why don't we just go around the corner to you and... You found me, but... Oh, you got a torch or something. That's new. Right. Two survivors dead. I've lost some sanity, but that's all right. Now, what have you got on you? A torch. Ah. Ooh. Laid a tire iron. And ooh, antiseptic. Wait, that's not actually good. That's just the crafting ingredient. Fine. Don't need any of that. Do potentially need a torch. Torch could be bloody useful. Ooh, you've got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, toaster. Toaster could be good. And yeah, here we go. Beverage. Purified water. Just need three dirty waters to make that purified water work. That'd be marvellous. Yeah, if I can get some acid and some glowing fungus, I can get some fungal purge going on. And if I just get some antiseptic and some cloth. Cloth is everywhere. Antiseptic. Things like a brack, so anything like that. Fine. Anything vaguely medicine-y sounding. I can make some bandages. But yeah, stim packs just aren't around. And I'm already tired from lack of sleep. Marvellous. That's fine, I know where there's a bed. Now, that new weapon. Well, one, the torch is apparently a weapon, not something you just kind of stick on your person to act as a light, which is interesting. So, torch. Ooh, damage 12 and energy weapon 10. Okay, that's sort of interesting. So, that's a weapon that, yeah, better than the, the lead pipe once the energy damage is put in. So, if I put that on, does that just count as a... Ah, if I literally just get that out, I still don't have a light I can turn on or off. But now I've got a... Oh, it's really short range, though. It's really flipping short range. Okay. Might keep that, but honestly, it doesn't feel like it's that useful for illuminating things. I need a proper torch or lantern like I had last time. No, what I really want is... Oh, yeah. Flipping 31 damage, bladed tyrant. And I believe that also gets itself a bit of bleed damage, doesn't it? If it's bladed... I can't see for certain, but I'm pretty sure there's a tiny bit of bleed damage, unless the mod's taken that out too. Fine, so we've got ourselves a bladed tire iron, we definitely want that. Right, now I feel much better. I think I've got a better weapon already than I spent the entire flipping last playthrough with. Now don't go any further down this way, but remember, down through the subway car down here, there was a settlement. Oh wait, hang on, no, 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 there is something I want down here. No, sorry, don't forget one of the main reasons you're actually coming this way. This is important, and this is why I have got myself the exact set of five... Okay, I need the torch now. There we go. Now I can see what I'm bloody doing down here. Right, gas canister. Gas canister. And some toxic cocktails and Molotov cocktails. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm already parched as well. Uh, ooh, flip lighter. Flip lighter's bloody useful. I think that's about all we got in this subway car, if I recall correctly. But all that stuff. No, can't open that, sadly. All that stuff. It's very, very... Ooh, more stuff. Right, grab all of flipping that. This... This is all useful. This is all useful, useful stuff, because I've got a plan. And the next stage of my plan is to go and murder some dogs. Although for safety, I'm just going to quickly drop off this equipment that I've just picked up there, and then also grab a sleep. Just an hour, not enough to get rid of the tiredness, but I don't want my thirst to get any worse. Okay, that done, up to the top here. I know where my next destination is for now. So into the tunnel here. I've been in here before. Down that way is the dogs. That way through that door is a bunch of ferals. But I never actually went down to the end of uh, this passageway over here. Looks like it's pretty quiet though. All things... Oh! Frag mines. Right, okay. This is why I'm glad I found a bed. So now I can pick these up relatively low risk because I just dropped a save. But it's still going to be difficult and... It's worth it just to get a few mines. Okay. Also, you've got... Ah! These guys seem to have a really excellent chance of having flip lighters on them. Which is good because... Oh. Okay, just... Okay, go in that way. Make sure we don't accidentally hit his stuff. And... Go! The timing on those is so limited now. Luckily, they really glow in the dark. And... Boom! Lovely. Right. Okay. 
I've just got myself three different flip mines. That's master. Only had a bobby pin. Ouch. No, you need more than a flipping bobby pin. That's flipping master locked. Okay, but three frag mines. Okay. This might be worth having a think about. With three frag mines, I can probably just basically lead a bunch of ghouls through there into that. But don't worry about that just yet because there's one thing I want to check first. Just go into hidden. Let's go hunt some dogs. Though I need to get my torch out otherwise I can't bloody see because it's so bloody dark down here. Yeah, they were up this way, weren't they? Because down here is, yeah, this is the place we don't go. Tempting, tempting water, not worth it. Not bloody worth it. Go this way, hunt the dogs quickly. Torch away, hatch it out. Nice and subtle here. Nice and subtle. These dogs need to be sneak attacked dead, just like last time. One to the left, one to the right. Remember where they are. Because to be honest, this mod is partly about flipping memory as much as anything else. Are you coming this way? Because if you're very slowly, awkwardly coming this way, I'll just wait for you to move into 95%, then I'll just knack you with that. There we go. Right, sneak attack. You hadn't quite seen me yet. Now move away. Move away. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, go. He's, he's facing away. Now he's... Might get away with this. Chop. Lovely. Dog goes down. Right. Two dead dogs, but no meat off them because I haven't taken Hunter yet. Fine. Got a bit lucky there because the second one spotted me early. And if I recall correctly, there's nothing special here. Just going to get out the torch just to quickly scan this room. Uh, yeah, this room goes down to... Ah! This room goes down to the two ghouls, if I recall correctly. If I just keep following it down, I'll get through to a tunnel at the end that leads through to... Uh, yeah, some ghouly stuff. I just follow through here, get into a new subway tunnel, and then we run into uh, the room with the ghouls. There we go. Yeah, this room that's got the two ghouls. But, excellent chance one of you is a bit of a nightmare to deal with. However, 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 this time I've got mines. But they kind of struggled to make it through the door last time, which might be a bit of a concern. Also, these guys are going to have, yeah, a ton of corpses. means a ton of free loot, including a bobby pin. Got my first bobby pin. Nice. Ooh, flamer fuel. Lardy flipping da. And of course, short combat shotgun. Very important. Ignore the Patriots notes. We know about that already. Right. Careful. Slow. Free stuff off a bunch of placed corpses. Corpses just equal free stuff, though. I was kind of hoping for more flip lighters. There we go. Speak of the flipping devil. Right. There's another one. He looks a little bit... Actually, I think he's not as bad as we've sometimes seen. There we go. Yeah. I think he's not as bad as some of the ones we've seen uh, in the past, to be honest. Last time I was here, I swear there was one that was ludicrously tougher than that. Question is, is this the time to use potentially... Ooh. If I could do this without using my Molotov, I'd prefer to, but I doubt I'm going to be able to. Tell you what, I could do with a bit of strength, and I could do with a bit more sanity too, given I did just kill those two guys in the tunnel. Let's see what a bit of strength and a sneak attack together can do to this guy. Subtle, subtle, in the dark. Subtle, subtle, in the dark. Subtle, subtle, in the dark. The game specifically said you guys are very, very bad at, like, detecting me and stuff. Oh, right. Go, 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 go. Oh, that does very little. Oh, his head's popped off. His head's popped off, but now the other one's about to kill me. Now the other one's about to kill me. Right, go, go, go out of the door because he might not be able to follow me. Right, now just go into hidden mode because he might not be able to follow me. And I'm... That's really fast creeping. Was creeping always this bloody fast? Right. Found. Lost me. Hopefully. Then we just need to... Yeah, add on a little bit of action points, which are all back now. Okay. That seems to have worked. Yeah. He's searching, but when we get back to Hidden, he can't find me anymore. Okay, spot on. That's exactly what I want to happen, though. I think I got pretty lucky with just slicing that guy's head in two with the third swing. Now, speaking of which... Hello over there. Okay, just need to... Let's go to third person camera. Just need you to stop freaking out, please. Because you're not helping me while you're freaking out. 
and there's nothing I can do to get you to turn around. Oh, unless I... Unless I clambered up here and around you, because I'm still temporarily under the effect of whiskey. And I kind of want to still be under the effect of whiskey when I come up on you, if I can just get around to you. This is... That's not the right way to go. I think this works, though, if I come around this way. Okay, undetected. 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 He's... Somewhere around here. Oh. Okay. Just round to. Round to. Oh, he's causing me trouble here. Okay, just drop down, 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 and kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Right. Oh yes. And I get my level up from that too. Right, back away. Because something's producing uh, rads now. What do you have on you? Ooh, buff jet. Useful. Useful, useful buff jet. And a subway token. Right. I've got myself a starting point here. Because I have a plan. Now, the reason I took Perception 5... Duck and Cover, the new demolitions expert. So this no longer gives you bonus damage with throwables. It just gives you incoming explosive damage reduced. Honestly, with this mod, I suspect you can reduce explosion damage by 75% and still die in a single hit from an explosive, but whatever, given explosives can pretty much knack you in the base game. So screw it, it doesn't really matter. But the important thing is, ooh, hang on. Ah, they flipping move light step over to um, demolitions expert. That's a nice tweak. The more important thing is crafting explosives. Being able to make my own explosives, because explosives are ludicrously good. I think that is the right thing to do right there. Because now, with all those flip lighters that I've been picking off all these corpses, if I head back to the actual starting area now and also just grab a quick bit of sleep just to get my tiredness under control, I think we might be able to make something work here. Right, dump all of my junk here into the chemistry station. Now, big question, what can I do here? I can make myself a... Oh, yes, I've got potential things like a gas canister mine. Lardy flipping da... Ooh, that's cheap to make. I was thinking of making molotovs, but the problem with molotovs is... Yeah, they're expensive on the old oil front. They're great, but they're expensive on the oil. Because adhesive 2 cloth 10 glass, that's fine. Glass is everywhere. However, four oil required. That's expensive. And anything more advanced than that requires duck and cover too. And even then, the oil's a bit much and fertilizer is going to be relatively rare down here. Okay, that's not going to work so hot. I could make one more Molotov, but to be honest, I was hoping for way better than that. Gas canister mine, damage 250. I've got two gas canisters, and that requires one oil. That strikes me as very much flipping worth it. Yeah, okay, two gas canister mines, combined with the frag mines I've already got, that gets me up to five mines. And actually, how powerful is, uh, remind me, a basic frag mine is... That's 400, so it's not as powerful as a frag mine, but it's still pretty good next to anything else I'm going to be fielding right now. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to make two gas canister mines. That's fine with my gas canisters, and that's gas canister and oil. Ah! Because the gas canister was an oil. So technically that's really two oils. Because I think the gas canister was worth like one one oil each. So now I probably can't make a... No, now I can't quite make a Molotov anymore. The rest of my oil is presumably from flip lighters. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty happy with that. Is there anything else I can actually do here? Yeah, stim packs I'm going to need chemist for. They're on chemist and surgical kit is on medic for healing limbs. So I've got to be careful about that. So stim packs can be made here but only with blood packs and plenty of antiseptic. That's not going to fly. I do have two acid, though. Wait, I needed acid for something. Hang the flip on. I needed acid for... Ah! Acid for fungal purge. Fine. So if I could just find some glowing fungus, I can actually make myself a fungal purge. Now, that's going to be useful because rads are really the enemy. They killed my last character. That's important. You know, the weird thing is, the one thing I'm missing for making a proper lantern is one screw. Okay, I feel like I found a screw nice and early on last time. Also, this room is regenerated. There was just a new whiskey there, and now there's a new lead pipe there. Okay, that's weird. This room has just regenerated its stuff. And hang on, new toy car. Ooh, hang on. I think a toy car might, by coincidence, actually have a flipping screw in it. It does as well. Sure, let's make a proper lantern, because that's way better than the torch. Lovely. See this? This I'm happy with. Fragmentation mine three. 
gas canister times two, just the one Molotov, and yeah, toxic cocktail. That strikes me as a good start. And there we go, nice magic non-existent lantern, much better than a torch. Now, time for a quick bit of sleep, let's get this- oh yeah, you've regenerated everything. Fine, that's very interesting, so there's just basically infinite bottles floating around here, and an actual flipping bed. Now, let's get some- okay, not more than five- maybe six hours, I don't need that much sleep. Five hours- I mean, anything more than three should be alright, it's a proper bed. Okay, let's just say five hours, because I don't want thirst to get out of control. Five hours should be fine to get rid of tiredness, but I'm probably just going to put my thirst straight up. No, okay. I'm actually in a better position than I was, but hunger and thirst are going to creep up on me. And now I've got to save here. Alright, good. Let's be back on our way. So, now there's that. Now there's that. Okay, I've got mines. Okay. I've got the next step of the plan sorted now. This is all going to work fine. So, straight back the way I came, navigating much more easily with a flipping torch on. It must be flipping set. Now, 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 I feel like I'm in a much better position to make some flipping progress here. In particular, if we just loop around this way, I now know where I can get some good armour. Because beyond the two ghouls, where I just got all of the flipping oil and whatever here, there was a room with the Metro Federation. So, let's help myself to their armour, and I will be feeling much better about life. And in addition, lights off, because there's enemies close by to here, and yet more stuff here. Oh, I should have come and cleared these guys out before I came, because yeah, there might be some useful stuff amongst all this junk. There's an ammo box here, and just like an ammo crate in general. It's possible... There might be some good stuff here. Because last time I found 10mm, but I think it seems to be all fairly randomly generated. So, flip lighter. More flipping oil. 7.62, the handmade rifles ammo. And sadly, just a locket inside that wooden crate. The sort of crate that sometimes contains explosives. Precious, precious explosives. Right, metal helmet, Federation fatigues. Those things, pretty darn good. Second guy over here, and watch out for all of you bastards down there. Right, your journal, a dollar, knuckles, a cap, Federation fatigues too. Right, let's get some new armour going on here. So, naturally, we're getting rid of the longshoreman outfit. Let's just drop that. How will be pretty good. Federation fatigues, pretty darn decent. Smiley Hood is just giving me five rad resistance. I'll keep that in case I run into rads, but for the most part, yeah, I'm gonna want some actual metal helmets going on here, but keep this in case it becomes relevant later. What does this do? That just gives me luck one. No, I'd rather take the damage resistance right now. I'm too fragile and drop one of these because they, they weigh four. They're not worth that much, and Northside haven't run into a single shop yet anyway. In fact, I'm not convinced there are going to be shops in this game full stop. It doesn't strike me as the sort of happy-go-lucky trading experience. I feel like that might be something that's going to happen in the future of Fallout, not just bloody yet. So here's how this needs to go. Bunch of you clustered down there together. I want to drop a mine, hit you all with a Molotov, and then lure you into the mine together. Okay, that'd just be flipping perfect. No, don't, don't you wander off and separate. Don't you even think about it. Right, one mine just over here. Oh, okay, they didn't detect that. Now, all of them together now need to have my one Molotov thrown at them. Okay, this should be about right. Oh, that'll flip and do it. That'll flip and do it. And now they all want to walk up together into the mine. If they do, that'll be... Oh, have you managed to... How have you avoided that mine? Oh, they didn't avoid the mine. Oh, yes. Oh, flipping yes. That was the throw. How many are dead? I think I just killed three of them. Oh, yes. And the one that survived was the weak one. Oh, that could not have worked out better. And the one that's left is stuck in the dark. Hasn't actually detected me yet. He's causing some rads, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think one of them might actually still be alive, just crippled on the ground. There we go. Lovely. Double sneak attack takes care of you. I think there might be another one up ahead. Yep, okay, sorry, there is another one. There is another one, there is another one, there is another one. Who are you exactly? You're, you're more dangerous, and I don't like that one little bit. But if I just hide in the corner over here, you probably won't detect me. I mean, the alternative would be I could just say screw you and just bypass him. These ghouls are so bad at flipping searching. Just grab literally everything you add on you. And now just sneak past you into your old hunting grounds. Let's just quickly go into here just to make sure we're safe. 
and a dinner fork. Marvelous. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, you weren't the only guys down here. Right, there's two flipping more, but ah, they're the less dangerous sort. You're particularly not dangerous. A sneak attack on you, and then a full vats round into you might actually be enough to kill you, potentially. Oh, but there's so many corpses, though. There's so many flipping corpses around here. I love it. Now, where are you? You're, you're naffed off way over there. You're the more dangerous guy anyway. Fine. Let's just see if I can just sneak attack these lads. Wait, is there a third? Oh, there's a... No, no, that's just a post behind you. That's just a post. Right. If I can just get close enough to knacker the... To knacker that one, we'd be in good shape. Right, just... Go... Oh, I don't like jumping. I know jumping's bad. I know jumping's bad. I know jumping's bad. Go. Okay. Finish you off. Now, please don't hear it. Don't have heard that. Don't have heard that. It was silent. It was silent. You shouldn't have heard that. You can't have heard that. In fact, it was totally silent. Was that a minigun? Oh, is that a flipping minigun? Is that a flipping minigun? It might be, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not over here. I'm over there. I'm over in a different location entirely. You can't find me. You can't find me. And go, 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 go. Okay, okay, sneak. Sneak. Finish him off. Oh, and the head pops in too. <laughs> okay, that's a minigun. I can see that's a minigun. It's quite frankly, yeah, there's the bad guy. He's up there, but I'm undetected. So he shouldn't be coming in this direction. Right, okay. I've just cut my way through a really nice group of ghouls here. And I can see that's a minigun. If you say I can't pick that up, that's just you being mean, game. Because I can see that's a flipping minigun. Okay, I don't like the fact that guy's there. I mean, actually, no, that was his starting position, wasn't it? He literally started over there. Okay. I wouldn't mind clearing out the final one. Problem is, he is far too tough for me to just take down normally. Hmm... Okay, we'll clear out him on the way back. I could probably just lure him into a mine pretty easily. Let's just figure out what's going on ahead. First up, well, of course, it's more flipping ghouls, because why wouldn't it be? Right, here we go. They're kind of hanging together right now. That kind of works for me. I'm just going to leave a gas canister mine here nice and quickly, and then back away from that. And hopefully, they'll walk into that together momentarily, because they're still searching, so they still know I'm here. There we go. And 72 XP, I think, has got to be both of them. Right. 72 down. Those gas canister mines were a really, really good investment mind. I am really glad I picked those up. Uh, careful I don't set myself on fire, by the way, because I think that does continue to cast fire after it's detonated. Right, and I'm rich. I've got so many dollars right now. There better be something down here. You know, beyond just more ghouls. Because if it's just more ghouls, I'm going to be really, really angry at life. Like, I'd like a gun as my reward for doing all of this. I'd like an actual gun. And we go to a thing here. And now we've got relatively stable brackets, actually. Okay. This is all. Oh, no. Obvious flippingly, the answer is more ghouls. Because why wouldn't the answer be more flipping ghouls? Careful. Careful, we're not done yet, and I'm out of gas canister mines. I've still got frag mines. I'd rather not waste them on one individual ghoul if at all possible. But that guy's one of the dangerous ones. I'm going to be lacking options here. Unless I have a level up here, I should probably just be using that, shouldn't I? Yes, yes I should. And heavy gun. Oh, I wish. I just found a minigun, but I'm not allowed to pick the bastard up. I could just take 20% more melee weapon damage right now. Like, it would help a little bit, not that much. I mean, Hunter's tempting as well. I'm also only one endurance away from Cannibal. And I feel like eating Abaddon and eating human corpses, ghouls wouldn't count just yet. Alternatively, no settlements, which I don't have. 15% less damage, carry weight up by 10. Wanderer is very tempting right there. Alternatively, melee sneak attacks. I think that's probably worth taking anyway, ahead of just base 20. Because, yeah, 50% more damage on that first hit. And ghouls are really easy to sneak up on. Yeah, I'm going to take Ninja 1. I think that's the most sensible thing to do right now. Speaking of which, I need to figure out how to deal with this guy. And mildly dehydrated now. 
Okay, I think it's got to be mine. She's too tough, even for with Ninja, unfortunately. But hang on, if I just... Yeah, it's got to be a mine, unfortunately. I've come all this way. I can't back out now. I haven't gained enough. I've lost a lot, but I haven't gained much. And he's... Oh. No, you just go away for a minute. Yeah, there we go. Just go away for a minute. There we go. And just... Round the corner, round the corner, round the corner. Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. And he's lost... He's lost enough that if I could just get round here and then just get one more hit in him now. Okay, fine. Even a flipping fragmine wasn't enough for him. I made the right decision to to leave him be. Right, okay. Now I just need to get that one final hit on him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And just, just finish him off. Finish him off. One. And just, no, swing faster. Has he just got a hit on me? Okay, he just hit me with a ton of rads with a swing there, unfortunately. But I'd actually taken a hit off him anyway, so it barely even mattered. Fine. Okay. Ooh, economy wonder glue. Oh, you were worth killing. Right, now we got... Yeah, now we're back to undetected and peace. And there was just some more of him. I think that was one of his limbs I just blew off there. Come on, game. Be nice. I've deserved myself a new, like, bed or something. Undetected. Everything calm. Come on, give me a gun. How about a gun? A gun at- Ooh, that's a door. That's a flipping load zone right there, I'm guessing. Everything's calm. Right, this better be something good. And College Square Station- Ooh, College Square. Right, I found my way to a, a station. That's a way up. Now, College Square, that's- Right, that's a little bit- Well, it was Ghoul Central in the base game. Doesn't mean it's going to be Ghoul Central right now. But yeah, close by to the police station. There's a river not far from it. So I could go and bottle some water like crazy from that. But doesn't strike me as the best place to come up. Though actually there's a bunch of buildings. So I might be able to sneak from building to building and just go looting. Just a quick trip above ground. Knowing full well I'm coming back underground afterwards. Might work. I mean I need water. That's becoming the priority. Now speaking of which we've got... Ah! More ghouls, and more ghouls, and more ghouls, and they're all the dangerous sorts. Wait, hang on, one of them's okay. Uh, one of you's alright, wait, there you go, you're okay. You I can potentially manage, but, for the most part, this is not gonna work. And, it's not actually dark in here, is it? No. No, it's not. Let's just... Do we need to leave? I think we need to leave for just a second. We've got a train station, but it's full of ghouls. However, I need to take them out because I need something out of that. I need, like, because I know College Square... Ah, College Square's got a side room off to the right where the Brotherhood give you a mission to go and kill a special ghoul. Like, potentially, there could be some really good scrap there. Enough scrap for me to make some new mines, some new gas canister bombs, because those have been working really flipping nicely. Though actually, I do specifically need gas canisters to make that work. Fine. Let's go back in, take out the weak one that's close to me, and then maybe just see if I can completely ignore the other two. And don't forget, I've got whiskey. In fact, actually, whiskey, get my rads down a bit, and get my sanity back up too. Yeah, I'll take a dose of whiskey right now. That'll do the flipping job. And I've just realised the big advantage of buff tats. Right, hang on, I get it. So yeah, buff jet, though it's really damn good, leads to sanity loss. Buff tats, because you've mixed in the mentats, actually gets your sanity back up again. Right, that's a really, really big advantage. Yes, yeah, so you can basically get all the advantages of buff out without any of the sanity loss associated otherwise. Okay, that's... I can see the advantage there, yes. But screw it, let's get rid of those rads I just took from the little light sweep from that guy and strength plus two. And that might just give me enough strength to clear out that near guy and then just sneak around the rest of them. The best way to deal with rads in this game is possibly using flipping alcohol. Though actually, yeah, that wasn't much in the way of rads, was it? No. 15 out of, it's a thousand. The rad scale's a thousand. Right, 15's not that much. Oh, oh, that's tickety. Oh, he's close by. He's really close by. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's just let's just get away from him. Let's just back away from him for a second because he's vaguely searching for me and flickering against all sorts of lamp posts. Right, you need to go. You need to go down. You need to go down, my good man, because you're close by to me, but I can handle you. The other ones I might not be able to, but you I can handle. Okay, undetected. Good. Where is he? 
Where's the flimsy one? Because you over there, look. Okay, that's the flimsy one. That's a tougher one. Where's the other? Okay, good. They've both naffed off over there. Excellent. They're kind of trapped at the bottom. And there's also another one. That's a flimsy one. And you've you've taken a knock from something. Not sure what's given you a knob. You've taken a knock from something. Good. Okay. This works for me. They're all over there. Staircase is right here. I might be able to just bypass them if I could. Wait, hang on. This isn't... This isn't the layout of flipping College Square Station, is it? Unless I'm the other side from where I expect I am. Well, let's find a nice safe place to be here at least, because we've got ourselves... Ah! Novice locked. Perfect. And yes, I know how the game works, thank you. There we got it. go. That'll admit the <gasps> first aid kit. That felt a little bit more tricky than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. We've got ourselves... Oh my goodness! Oh, this was all worth it. I've got a bandage and a surgical kit and a surgical scalpel. Oh, that was so worth it, therefore. Okay, the surgical scalpel is admittedly just junk. Never mind, that's just fluff. But the rest of it, an actual flipping surgical kit for, yes, yeah, sorting out the, uh, the crippled legs. Oh, that's perfect. And a bandage. So I've got the ability to increase the health rate. Fine. Still haven't found the glowing mushrooms. Still don't have a supply of water. So rads and hydration still the biggest issues. Right, now can I start picking apart some of you bastards at this point? Where are you? There's... Yeah, the bad one's down there. You are marked with a skull, but it looks to me like if I got a sneak attack, we might actually be able to finish you off. And then there's a... There's a flimsy one over there. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can pull this off. You just need to turn around and go the other way. Ah, there's one behind you as well, unfortunately. That's the... Oh, you're also the bad one. Okay. This is fine. Let's see if I can just basically walk straight up to him as long as I'm... If I go this way. Okay, we've got the... You're the you're the flimsy one, okay. You're not to be worried about. Just need to go nice and slowly up to this laddie. Though potentially just looping around the outside here. Yeah, ignoring you entirely for the time being. Get behind you. Finish you off. And there's... Oh, there's a... Big old pile of corpses here. Good. That's just free dead things. Right. Go, 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 go. Right, you. Get finished off. Nice and quiet like. Yeah, that's was supposed to be nice and quiet, but I feel like that didn't work out. But no. I'm not found, I'm not found, I'm not found, I'm not found. Search not found, search not found, search not found. I'm gonna kind of convert my little catchphrase there. Right, you are. You're bad. You're flimsy as anything. You're supposedly dangerous, but I think I could handle you, actually. But you've all got the wrong idea, so spot on. And with this room, I can just basically hide in here, if need be, until you get bored and wander off. Fine. Actually, this is pretty safe. I can pick them off one by one just by retreating to this room. Nice. Right, speaking of which, where's the flimsy guy? Where's the flimsy guy? Because the dangerous ones... Yeah, there's a dangerous one in the tunnel over there. But screw the rest of the way. Hang on. That's water. <gasps> I found a water supply. I found a water supply. I found a water supply. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Life is good. I mean, there's no food, but there's water. That is water right there. Okay. That's A-OK. -okay. That's everything in the world is now good because I found water. What's going on up here, by the way? There might be more on the station. Right. I think I've found the place I want to be. This is El Dorado right here. It's ghoul infested and the water's probably radioactive, but screw it, it's water. All right, that's a really, really good deal. And the, oh, darn it, the whiskey's worn off. Wait, where's everyone? Where'd all the ghouls go? There were ghouls here a second ago and now they're, now they've naffed off somewhere. Okay, fine, works for me. I'm going to guess, by the way, there's no, no. Sadly, the new cola machines are empty. At some point before Fallout 4, someone will go around filling them all up again. I'm not really sure who that's supposed to be, but screw it. Someone will. Just play this nice and slow and calm. Someone's clearly close by, because the brackets are going nuts. But if I just... Ooh, one of the big fat lads. There's an oil can. That's useful. Well, this is interesting, because now I've just got an actual... Ooh. Oh, hello. <gasps> I've got a gun! Life is happy! Life is good! Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Crow Mask provides you with a decent balance of some rad resistance. Actually, seven. That's the highest I've got so far. Plus some poison resistance, weirdly enough. Okay. 
So my Federation Fatigues are basically just giving me 10, 10, 10 across the board. Lantern is worth nothing. Mental Helmet's worth another 9 and 4. This is worth... Ooh. That stuff is heavy, though. That's heavy stuff, but... I mean, that's giving me more damage resistance on just my leg than it was. That's worth 5 and 5 on its own, and that's just light. Okay. And that's worth 12, and it weighs 8. I do have some spare weight capacity right now. And you've got a bandage. Okay, take the bandage. I like you. I really like you. And sharp oak baseball bat. 31 slow. I think I'm better than that already, aren't I? My bladed... Yeah, that's 33 medium. So that's better in every single way. So don't bother with that. But I think we could deal with all of this right here. Yeah, road leathers. Uh, so, okay. Let's sort this out. I can keep my metal helmet, though, but get rid of the Federation Fatigues, because, yeah, they're just not going to stand up to it. And they, actually, they only weigh four. They weigh four, which is a problem, but... Don't know why I'm still carrying this, by the way. That can probably go. Yeah, just, we'll store all this with you. Definitely keep the crow mask, bare minimum, because that's an okay-ish rad mask, if need be. And I've got seven spare weight capacity, if I take that, and for the sturdy metal left leg as well... That's going to put me over. Okay. But I don't need the smiley hood anymore if I've got the crow mask. Because the crow mask is, yeah, seven. The only reason I'm keeping the smiley hood is because it's giving me five rats. So that can go. That should get me back to, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. Also, I just have a baseball from somewhere, apparently. So I can actually make a flipping baseball grid. No, I can't. I don't have the fertilizer. Darn it. I knew that sounded too good to be true. Okay, I might want to dump some of the heavier stuff that I don't think I need. Like, I'm not going to need silver for some time. So let's just get rid of some of this. I don't need bone. There's plenty of bones, weirdly, in the starting area. Right, still five spare capacity. Oh, everything is now good in the entire world. Right, hang on, back off. Back the flip off. This is worth uh, just also... Ah, fuse is good. Take the fuse. Right, take the cigarette as well. Now, drinking water restores health. Uh, I don't think it actually does. I think they actually took that out, by the way. The tooltip just hasn't been updated. Let's just back off for one flipping second. Wait, hang on. Was that you over there? Yes, it was. Okay, but you're the basic one. You're the basic lad. You're the basic lad. You're the basic lad. Just need to chop you down. Chop you. Oh, they all went upstairs. You just nipped upstairs for a second. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to hide in this room for one second. Hide in this room for just one second because we've got something important to look at. It's a gun, and it's silenced, and it doesn't do that much damage. It doesn't do that much damage at all, but, 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 if I get a headshot against a ghoul, as I've read the notes for this mod, that should pretty much kill the bastards. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's the dangerous lad right there. Now, if we just scan you, yeah, limb attacks do very little, but the headshots are oh, the headshots, right. Why don't you just come in this direction, my good man? Yeah, right at me, and... Oh, yes. I mean, I just spent two bullets because this thing's a damn auto. But, yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Now, we're just... This was silence. The game said silence. How exactly are you hunting me right now? No, 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 no. That's cheating. Also... Watch out, that guy down there is now back again. The ghouls just went on holiday, but now they're back. Okay. Now, you hopefully are now just going to walk back up onto the station. Yep, you just clamber back up. I'm famished. Okay, I'm famished as well as everything else right now. So that's a concern. You just need to go down to a nice axe in the back. Because that should be eminently doable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? That's you're facing in this direction. That works for me. And now I'm taking some... Yeah, lovely. Finish you off because you stop giving off the radiation when you die. Ah, 4.5. Right, okay. So it's 50% it is like multiplied rather than just added on. So just take that. Fine. Okay. The problem now is food is now getting desperate really fast. There's clearly something that side, but I can't get over there just yet. There's now there's now a bad thing in the tunnel over there, but he's quite away in that direction. Okay. I mean, as I understand it, I could just smack him in the head with this. <gasps> That's ah, oh, cement. I was hoping that was fertilizer. The asset looks basically the same. Boo. Right, have we got anything we can eat? No. 
Antifreeze. Oh, a lantern. A free lantern. Nice. And other than that, no. Sadly, nothing else good here. There's just no flipping food anywhere. Fine. There's clearly a different side to this station. One ghoul over there that might need to be shot to take care of him. And then we've got... Ah! Gas canister. Nice. That is a new gas bomb right there. Lovely. Okay, the water in a second. I need to find food as a priority. Now, I'm kind of hoping there might be something up here. Like, this might just be a way to get upstairs. How's the how's the brackets? The brackets are looking pretty calm. Oh, no, there's something up here. Right, we've got two over there. And, okay, the problem is one of them's blatantly facing me. And there's bright light here. Right, what have I gone I can potentially use against you? Any chance I can hang on, just sneak around here. Sneak around here into the show. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right, hang on. Let's just see if I can use the architecture to my... Okay, maybe not, and... Oh, whoa, 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 what? Okay, I think I just got them both in the head and the game was like, all right, fine. Fair enough, good, excellent. Just swing high. Swing high, because if you get the headshots, even with the melee weapons, it's fine. The game rewards you for that. Just okay. Ooh, power relay coil. Can't remember what that contains, but it sounds fancy and there's something else in this room yet. Where the flip are you? It's not ah! We've got one robot here. Can I just hop over to the robot? No, I need to get my way inside. I can take loads of money and subway tokens. That's always welcome and nice, but... I'm going to guess this door around here is locked up. I mean, there's shops here. I kind of feel like shops should mean that we've got, ooh, expert locked. Well, that's unfortunate. Right, nothing nothing immediately down there, and that'll lead down to the other side that I was just seeing. So, fine. There's going to be more on that side, but we've got two shops right over... Wait, where are you? There's something else in here. Possibly inside. I think that's a bathroom through there, if I'm recording correctly. And just give me a Give me a, give me some food. Give me some, uh, that might be food. That might be food. That might be food. That's a colander. That's a, that's food. I found food. I found food. Moldy food. Oh, food. Food, glorious food. I've actually located some food. And I've got water here as well. And if I just kind of go and grab it and then find a cooking station, I can purify it. Oh, life is so good all of a sudden. I've got a gun and food and water and something's going to kill me in this room and I'm going to lose absolutely all of it. But screw it. At least I know where it is now. You've got to be in here somewhere. Probably through here. Oh, actually, there might be some more food floating. Oh, wait. Why is there one of the monkey? What? Why is there one of the... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay, fine. He's round there. He's round the back of there. Fine. So, there's totally 100% a ghoul around the back of there. Might be able to get the sneak in on him if I'm lucky. Hang on, if I just jump around here. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. I see I, I, I see you and now I'm stuck on a, on a thing. Right, and... Come on, I... I can literally see you right there and... Come... Can't, there we go. Right, well, I think he's waiting to ambush me. And I think I'm also, by the way, forgetting to actually um, wear armor, which is a concern. Because, oh, that's another gun. Oh, that's another gun. And that's XL. And that's Day Tripper. And that's money. And that's more money. And this was all at, oh, what am I suffering from? Oh, I'm probably so overweight. Yeah, just a little bit over capacity. That's fine. And yet, don't forget to actually put on the armor. That would probably be a good idea. Because I forgot to actually put it on. So, that's got my, you know, damage resistance up quite a flipping bit. That's, that's good. That's really good, in fact. In fact, ooh, I can wear my crow mask at the same time as my metal helmet. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's so good. That's basically just some free rad resistance. Right, screw it. It's time to just start eating some stuff. So, some Blamco brand mac and cheese. Delicious, by the way. And also some dandy boy apples. And don't forget moldy food, which is actually going to flipping hurt me. But screw it. I just need to eat literally anything right now. Yep, I'm actually being hurt by the food I'm eating. And there's still something alive in here. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Another surgical scalpel there. That's not useful. 
Uh, right, you, you're important. Ooh, combat armor chest piece. Right, my metal chest piece weighs eight. That also weighs eight, but gives me basically better results in every possible way. Marvelous. Right, get rid of that and pick up that instead. Now, right now, my right leg's the only thing I've not got anything on. He's got a metal right leg for seven and three. Also, he's got road goggles that provide ten flipping rad resistance. And also perception one. I'm not sure how that works, given an actual mask that covers my mouth and nose is only seven, but apparently rads, like, get into your face through the eyes. Who bloody knew? Well, rad resistance is the priority, and it weighs a lot less, so okay. Dump the crow mask in that case to save some weight and go for the road goggles. And we've got ourselves a tactical pipe pistol. Weighs only 3.5 and comes with another five bullets. Yeah. I have to. I've got no choice. If it's a gun, I have to take it. But that means now I'm over capacity again. But I'm probably carrying some junk I can get rid of. There we go. Now we're just down to the good stuff and we're back flipping under capacity. I've eaten, albeit I'm still hungry, but at least I found some flipping food. And once I slap on the combat armor chest piece and the road goggles, actually, I wonder if I could just make enough space for what he had on his leg as well. Weighs three. Yeah, I'm pretty close already. Wait, I've got a better idea. I've got a flipping level up to do, and to me it feels like 15% less damage and carry capacity up by 10 strikes me as a very, very, very bloody good idea. Also, I do have a couple of pistols now. So, accuracy up 20%. Ah, it's not affecting damage. That's now affecting accuracy. 10% greater range. Level 7. I'm not even that far off level 7. And just staying with pistols is not a bad idea. No. Tape Wanderer. 15% damage reduction. Weight up by 10. Yeah, that's got to be a good idea. And now I've still got another flipping 9 spare carry capacity. Oh, flipping spot on, yes. And that tactical pipe pistol is only damage 22, to be honest. But, oh, is that a scope? Is that a flipping scope you put on the top there? Hang on, let's just quickly save that. Oh, my goodness, I've got a scope. Oh my flipping goodness, life is good. And also got, oh, I've got all the buff out in the world. Right, this place was just selling drugs. This place was selling absolutely tons of drugs and everything is now marvellous. But watch out, we've still got the bathrooms here. Wait, hang on. Sinks. Oh please. Oh please game, give me this one. Just give me this one. Give me a working, damn it. That was too much to hope for. That was fine. Oh, but... One person who decided to uh, shoot up in a bathroom. Take some medics, thank you very much indeed. Don't need any of that. Already got a lantern and whatnot. Wait. No. Nothing there, to be honest. Everything fine right round to the other side. I'm not ruling out the possibility of a clean water source. It's extremely unlikely. I feel like that would be way too generous, but I'm not ruling it out. I just want to clear out this station, because this here, this could be my new base. Is there actually a way to get up from... Oh. Rads, 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 rads. Why rads? Why were there rads there? And also, more stuff. Oh, hello. We've got... Ah, but no ammo for it. Darn it. Okay. Ah! A wrapped gas mask. Right. Well, that's even flipping better on the old front for rad resistance. Okay. Take that. Endurance one. Tattered field jacket. If that happens to be an undergear, I'll take that over the road leathers, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. But can I actually carry this? No, it weighs 13. No, ignore it. I've got no ammo for it. Leave it for the time being. Remember it's there. But take the wrapped gas mask and have a little look at the tattered field jacket. No, the tattered field jacket isn't all over outfits. So that's definitely being left behind. And the wrapped gas mask would replace the goggles. It's only an extra two rad resistance and it weighs three. Mm, be prepared to drop that down the line. Now, there's... Okay, there's something alive here. There's something flipping alive. What is it? I'm so worried about this. Right, just disarm that. Got myself a spring and some gears. Yet more survivors liking this. Ooh, pipe bomb. Yeah, I'll take a flipping pipe bomb. Very nice. Surgical mask is just 10. I've already got the, the glasses. That's Actually, maybe I can wear those with the glasses. If I could wear those and the glasses, that'd be nice. And also a mini nuke. Oh, blimey. Well, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to have much use out of that, really. So now I've got rad resistance 10 out of the mask. 
and a further 10 out of the goggles. And the helmet doesn't do anything, but probably, oh, that's good. That's a good load. Okay, fine. I'm just dumping that in that case because that would replace all of the above. And then it's only 12 and I'm getting 20 plus the helmet. So that can definitely go. And I even get some flipping Nuka Cola. Oh, and a Nuka Cherry. Nice. Nothing back here aside from... Ah, that's an elevator. Okay. Yeah, this has all been redone. That was not the case before. And then we've got ourselves a cooler here. But hang on. Just... One, no, can't open that, fine. We've got ourselves, ah! Muzzled powerful pipe pistol. Another, oh, we're just swimming in guns. You wait so long for a gun, then three come along at once, though. I'm still worried. What is causing me to be, I must be swimming below me. Must be swimming below me, good. Good, good, good. Now I've got the tactical pipe pistol, but now I've got muzzled, oh. Muzzled powerful. Right, that's way, way, way stronger. That's way stronger. Waste 3.5. Waste 3.9. Okay, how good is that? That does not have the scope on it, which is a bit of a concern. If I could just get these back to a bench, I could potentially take the scope off and put it on this one. Right, let's keep them both for now. But for the time being, yeah, there must be more down the thing below me. And that's Cambridge. As I would have expected, fine. They totally redid the station because those lift shafts, I'm pretty sure they weren't there before. Okay. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think we're going to call it apart there. We've made some progress. The food situation is... Well, not exactly under control. Wait, hang on. I haven't checked this room yet. No, no. Wait, hang on. I might die yet. Also, there's more XL. Wait. Don't do anything stupid. Wait, wait. Yep. Hello over there. How bad are you exactly? Oh, you're fine. You're just flipping fine. Love it. No. No, 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 no. Why don't we just close the door on you for the time being? That's fine. Oh, you can open doors apparently. Well, that's a concern. Wait there, wait there, wait there. No, stay close, stay close, stay close, stay close to me. Stay close to me, stay close to me. Just get chopped down. 4.5 and finish you off. Ouch. Right, still taking rads and poison and all sorts. So we're a little bit on the injured side. Bit on the injured. I'll take that. Nope, can't take the toy car. And unsurprisingly, yeah, all the sinks. No source of water. But we do know where there's water downstairs. And even better, we got ourselves a suitcase right here. And just one blue dress that's completely useless to me. Well, never mind. It's worth 5 XP at least. Right. And I feel better because I'm now pretty confident we've cleaned out this side of the station. Well, we haven't actually. There's blatantly stuff down that side of the station. And also, there was the guy in the big station I didn't actually kill. I can't get through here. Hang on. What actually is in that safe? Looks like it's nothing but money and magazines. Yeah, okay. I could totally fit through here, by the way. But screw it. The game's just decided I'm not flipping allowed to. Ah! New Coca-Cola bottle. That I do need. And the weight situation is getting out of control. Okay, what I'm going to do is, because I've got no shotgun ammo, I'm going to leave the short combat shotgun right here in the station. I know where it is, right? It's right by the cash register in front of the robot. Right, now we've got space to pick up stuff. Ideally, any empty bottles that might be lying around. Because empty bottles, I can now convert into... Shut up, you. Any empty bottles, I can convert into uh, admittedly dirty water. Uh, no. Unfortunately, the bottles I've been finding so far have been irritatingly full, which doesn't really help me. Actually, wait. Nuka-Cola. Does that help with thirst? No, it just gives you flipping rads. Of course it does. Still, Nuka-Cherry for bonus action points in an emergency might be worth it. Screw it. I just need a little bit of water just to get me through the journey home, quite frankly. So just, yeah, just, I'll just take a couple of sips. Not much. I don't want to get sick. Please don't get sick. And just, that's it, that's it. No more, no more, no more, no more. I'm still thirsty. We're okay. Right. I'd say, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to head home. Drop off all this junk. Revisit everything that I've got. Because now I've got weaponry. And I've got a source of water without dropping down into the sewers. Which I'm very, very happy about indeed. So, if I wanted to, I could go and actually get myself all the empty bottles in the world, bring them back here, fill them all up, and create some purified water. However, the bigger problem is arguably I need to get my rads down. That's a major problem. Unfortunately, a couple of tangles with ferals have left my rads really high. However, I now have guns, and I know where there is an encampment of survivors. 
There was an encampment of survivors just to the right of those survivors I killed right at the beginning. If I head there next with guns, I might be able to clear those bastards out. We'll have to see about that. I feel like that's my next logical move, ladies and gentlemen. So, that is coming next week. Gammon, I would say, doing much, much better than Bacon. Admittedly, she might die in the exact same way, which is bloody rad. We'll have to see about that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Fallout 4 Frost. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> the Romans touched me.